is up for grabs on Treasure Ball. Two teams go on a full-blown mess bet, searching for the gold coins that lead to fortune. Taking us on this incredible rampage through those outrageously slimy stores is the guy who makes any mall a party, our pal, Pal Park. This is it, the Treasure Mall. Right here, we're going to play the fastest, messiest, most wicked game on TV where our players can pick up some really great prizes. And one of our teams is going to get a shot at busting open that incredible Treasure Mall treasure chest full of fabulous stuff, including a trip for the family to Colorado. All right. We'll see John Denver. So, let's check with Ed and see who's hanging out in the mall today. Ed, who's hanging out in the mall today? Well, Hal, first, give a big welcome to Kimberly and Matt Cole. Kimberly's seven years old and just loves animals. Matt is nine and wants to be a news reporter. Hey. Matt, have you done any news reporting lately? Well, yeah, because I um, am a reporter for a local children newspaper oh. called the Bear Central News. And I report for that. And just recently, I received an award out of 250 people for first place in the newspaper division. Correct. <laughs> Good job. Kimberly, you like animals. What do you like better, animals or men? Totally animals. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck to all of you. Now, let's wait and see if Ed knows who you're playing against. Ed, who are they playing against today? Say hi to Shannon and Eric Carmack. Shannon's a 10-year-old who wants to be a fashion designer. Eric's an 8-year-old sportsman who enjoys deep sea fishing. All right. Eric, you're a fisherman. Yes. What's, what's the biggest fish you ever caught? 22-pounder. Whoa. No, no. Wow, that's a big fish. You pulling in by yourself? Well, my dad does. Ah! It's my <laughs> fish. Yay. So what? Just because you cast it, it's my fish. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. And Shannon, you're going to be a fashion designer. What do you think of the clothes I'm wearing today? No, oh, I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love it. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. I agree. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, well, good luck to all you guys. Now, let's get to the good part. Because inside these stores behind me are some really major prizes. And this is how you can get them. We ask kids across America questions about everything, from news reporting to fish. And I'm going to ask you some of those very same questions. Your job is to pick the answer you think most of the kids pick. Everybody who picks the most popular answer scores a point for their team. The first team to reach five points wins the round and gets to go on a mad dash in one of our awesome Treasure Mall stores for some fantastic hidden treasure. Well, good luck to both teams. Here's our first question. We asked sixth graders what they would do if they saw a bug crawling on their best friend. Did most of them say they would A, brush it off, B, tell their friend, or C, watch to see what happens? Bugs are crawling on their best friend. What do sixth graders do? <laughs> Matt says he'd brush it off, but the rest of them would watch to see what happens. Well, let's see what the answer is. It's C, what? One for Matt and Kimberly. Good job, guys. We're off to a good start. Okay, here's our next question. Scores two to one. According to our third graders, what's one thing they'd really like to change about their mothers? Did most of them say A, her cooking, B, her driving, or C, her bossing around? What do they want to change about their, the third graders want to change about mom? Oh, Matt. Not too happy about her cooking, but the rest of them think she's pretty bossy. Well, let's see what the answer is. It's C, you're bossing around. That gives four, four points to Eric and Shannon, and two points to Kimberly and Matt. Now, Shannon and Eric, all you guys need is one point to go into that first store. Here's our next question, guys. We asked junior high school girls, what kind of person would you most like to marry? Did the majority say A, someone rich, B, someone nice, or C, someone famous. What do they think, guys? Who would they want to marry? Oh, the boys both agree on somebody nice, but Kimberly and Shannon disagree on rich and famous. Sounds like a movie to me, but anyways, let's see what the answer is. It's B, someone nice, Eric and Shannon. You guys got five points. Come on down here, guys. Come on down. All right. Good job. Good job, guys. We're right here. Kimberly, Matt, don't you guys go anywhere, because we got another round coming your way. Remember, you gotta, we got to get the coins to go to the chest. Now, let's see how you guys are going to get coins. Let's find out which store you guys are headed for. Ed? For mystery, intrigue, and danger, it's the Adventure Store. Ooh, all right, we're going to the, we're going to the Adventure Store. 
story. You guys at home, don't chicken out on us here. These guys are going in dire peril in search of some very sticky stuff. Come on, guys. You guys got some great stuff in here that's really disgusting. But... We got the kind of stuff you guys are gonna have to tackle in here. Shannon and Eric, you guys ready to break loose and win some awesome prizes? Yeah. All right, terrific. We've hidden a total of 16 coins like this one at four different areas in the store. First, go for a romp in Piranha Swamp, but finding coins is not as easy as falling off a log. Then, from the ancient crypts of Egypt, the secrets of eternal life are found beneath the mummy's moldy shroud. These guys are kind of scary. Boom! <laughs> Look in there for coins, of course. Then it's on to the great volcano. Uh, volcano Island, as a matter of fact. Land of lost coins. Uh, then, finally, jungle trouble awaits you in the quicksand pit. Actually, it's kind of slow sand because we need you to find coins in there. Anyways, now. You'll take turns searching for coins at these four places. You'll have 25 seconds at each spot. Eric, Shannon, you gonna go first? Yes, I am. Okie doke. You'll start searching through the swamp. When you find a coin, put it in here. The coins must be in the bucket to count. When your time's up, then it'll be Eric's turn to search through that old mummy over there. When you're done searching all four spots, we'll count up your coins. The number of coins you find determines your prizes. In other words, more coins you find, the better your prizes are. All right, so listen to this. If you can clean out the store by finding all 16 coins, you're going to walk out of here with a high-tech electronic keyboard and a 19-inch TV with a Nintendo game set. All right. So, come on over here. Shannon, if you're ready, let's have 25 seconds on the clock. Thank you. On your mark, get set, go! Jump right in there, jump right in there. I've never seen. Let's count up their coins, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen coins! Everything 
set up with 13 cars. It's the most fun on land or sea. It's Shinsei's great radio control vehicles, racing cars, motorboat, and jet ski. The hottest new sport with the controls right in the palm of your hand. Furnished by Shinsei. And the Veriflex six-foot single-wing surfboard with channels so young and young at heart can enjoy water sports. Furnished by Veriflex. For you, from Treasure Mall. Hey. Tarzan a lesson in wrecking this place. You guys did a great job. Now you guys need to get cleaned up so we can play another round and find out who's going to our next store. Remember, it's a team with the most coins at the end of the show that gets on, go on and try and bust open that humongous treasure chest and win even more fantastic prizes. So finish your finish, tell your dog to stay. We'll be right back. Don't you go away. Treasure Mall players receive the hottest shoes on the street. Check out Air Watch. Bright colors and wild patterns are made for daring feet. Air Watch shoes for a way of life. Now back to more fun on Treasure Mall. Good job. All right, Shannon and Eric, you guys won the first round. You're sitting on top of 13 coins, and you got the the radio-controlled motor vehicle, as they call it, and the surfboard. You guys got some cool stuff. Now, Matt and Kimberly, it's your turn to come from behind and go into that next door. Remember, it's a team with the most coins at the end of the day that gets to go and try to bust open that incredible treasure chest. So, good luck to both of you guys. All right, here's our first question. According to our sixth grade boys, what do teenage girls spend, their most t spend the most time doing? Did the boys say A, putting on makeup, B, talking on the phone, or C, deciding what to wear? What do sixth grade boys think girls do all the time? <laughs> oh, wow, the girls both say talk on the phone, but the guys are saying decide what to wear. They're, wear they're fashion conscious. Well, let's see what they think. It's B, talk on the phone. The girls know what they do for a living. That's, that's pretty good. Now, Shannon, you're fashion conscious, right? About how long do you take to pick out what you're going to wear? Um, it's too long. Too uh, long? Too long. <laughs> but I have to go to a...